Win anti-debug 0x100. This challenge will introduce you to anti-debugging. Malware developers don't like it when you attempt to debug their executable files because debugging these files reveals many of their secrets. That's why they include a lot of code logic specifically designed to interfere with your debugging process. Now that you've understood the context, go ahead and debug this Windows executable. All right, so we can download the challenge. I've gone ahead and done some setup before starting the video. I've downloaded the challenge and unzipped it with that password PicoCTF. I've gotten a copy of X64 debug installed on my machine, so I have a debugger. And I have opened the file up in uh, the NSA's reverse engineering tool, Ghidra. And so doing that, just looking here at entry, I can see that this is a 32-bit executable. I can see that because of the names of these registers. So the registers that begin with an E are 32-bit registers. If I saw things like RBP, RSI, then it would be a 64-bit executable. Okay, so I've downloaded this file. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Welcome to the Anti-Debug Challenge. To start the challenge, you'll need to first launch this program while using a debugger. Okay, so I, like I said, I've gotten a copy of X6. As I said, this was a X96 has both X64 for 64-bit, X32 for 32-bit. This is a 32-bit one. So we'll go ahead and run that. And I'm going to open um, this program. I'll go ahead and hit run, and then I'll run until user code. You can look at the log here. So we're going to step through this thing. Um, so these two, this is going to step into function, so each call it would go inside. This just goes through an entire call. So I can step through this. See if anything interesting is happening. Not seeing anything in the log so far. Okay, so then it said, why did the clever programmer become a gardener? Because they discovered their talent for growing a patch of roses. Oops, the debugger was detected. Try to bypass this check to get the flag. All right, so let's go back and look at what was going on here. See if we can maybe find where it prints those kinds of messages. So I'll just walk through these functions. This one looks like it's reading a config bin file. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Ah, here's what we saw before. Right, so we saw that to start the challenge, you first need to launch this using a debugger. And so it was looking at this program right here. So it's getting information about the process. Presumably this information that it's getting includes whether or not it's running in a debugger right now. So now here they're calling is debugger present? And if it's zero, so if it's false, um, then we're going to say, good job, here's your flag. Okay, so I need the debugger present to be false at this point, but I guess I needed the debugger present to be true to get past this test up here. So if I'm right here, that's at 4015, FC and then the test is at 401602. Now there are a couple things I could do here. I could modify the executable. I could change like this JZ to be a JNZ. So then it would actually test for the opposite thing. I think the intent here is for me to use the debugger. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here at this 401604. So I'll go back to my debugger. And I'll just close that and I'll open it again. Uh, 
Now it looks like the numbers again don't match. We saw this in a previous problem. The numbers don't match exactly what's going on in Ghidra. So 1923. So we're probably here at entry. So where it's 401923 in entry, we're seeing A4 instead of 40. So we can we can work around that. So we decided that you find that function again. I should have remembered where it was. Yep, here we go. So we want it to be at this spot right here. And this JZ. So 401, so we need the 1604 in the bottom four. So 1604. We'll scroll up to that is right here. There's that jump equals. I'm going to set a breakpoint there. Actually, I don't want a conditional breakpoint. I just want a breakpoint. Breakpoint toggle. So now I have a breakpoint. So I'll go run. So now I'm here. EAX is one. I'm going to change its value to be zero to indicate there's not a debugger present. And I'll let it run. And then here in the log, um, it's interesting. I'm still seeing that. Oops, debugger was detected. All right, let's try that again. So we'll run it again. So here we had, I just want to change this value to be zero. Oh, okay, here I know what I did. So I set, I changed the value to be zero, but I did it before the test instruction. So it's already set the conditional flag. So I really needed my breakpoint to be here. So I'm gonna change that, I'll just run it, um, Run it again. So debug run. And now I'm here at my test. Now I'm going to set my value to zero. I'll finish it off. And there's my flag. Debug for the win. And I'll take that and we'll throw it over here into the Pico Gym.